What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Selena. I'd appreciate it if you click that subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell to get notified when I post new videos. Danke! In today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 fun facts to get to know me better. started I do want to take a minute to thank all of my current followers and supporters on my channel I now have 39 subscribers and I have been getting lots of positive feedback on the videos that I've been posting so thank you so much for supporting my channel if you like what you see I'd appreciate if you shared it with some friends maybe you let somebody else know um, maybe they'll find me a hoot <laughs> yeah okay so let's get into it here are my 10 fun facts Number one, my nickname is Booga. So shout out to my brother Gordo. He's the one that gave me that nickname. I'm gonna have a story time with him in it, going into more detail about how that nickname came to be, but just wanted to share that that was my nickname. I'm sure you've seen other videos where I put from Auntie Booga. So yes, that has been my nickname. Number two is I used to see ghosts. True story. Um, from the age of seven to eight, I used to be wakened up in the middle of the night by re glowing clear see-through figures standing in my doorway in my bedroom or my bed at the time faced my doorway so as soon as i woke up and opened my eyes i would see them and they wouldn't say anything they didn't move they didn't make any noise but they freaked me out and this happened almost on a nightly basis so obviously i was too scared to stay there and try to go back to sleep so i had to get the courage to run through them to my parents' room and then sleep with them for the rest of the night. That happened for a while. And then I grew out of it, but I still kind of feel sensitive and feel energies around me. Number three, I'm a Sagittarius. My birthday is November 28th. Some key characteristics that line up with the T are I'm magnanimous, reckless, um, very proud, larger than life personality, honest almost to a fault, extroverted, although I can be an introvert also at times. I am not afraid to shoot my shot. I am optimistic, <laughs> like extremely, like why can't I do that? Everything's gonna be peaches and dandy. I can still attract people to me because of my infectious laugh. <laughs> Number four is I talk in movie quotes. Okay, now I've been trying to determine what movie quotes I could put here as an example, and I'm struggling. So like you say it every day, but then all of a sudden you don't know. <laughs> that I definitely know of is, and it says do it, you must do it, you are here. And if I come up with any others, then I'll list them, who knows. Number five, I'm a Catholic schoolgirl. From grade second to the 12th, I went to a private Catholic school, well, two Catholic schools. Um, and I also got accepted into an all girls private college. Mount St. Mary's. I can honestly say that those years going to um, Catholic private school shaped the person that I am today. I do still have some of my very best friends from the second and third grade. I'll insert their picture here. Those are my girls and I love them. Number six, number 33. This has been my number, my go-to number, my lucky number. I don't know, it's just something that I've identified with for many years. I'll insert a clip of my high school picture right here showing Selena 33 Acevedo. 33 has always been a constant in my life. It helps kind of show me that I'm on the right track with things. Um, and it's just been my go-to lucky number. Number seven, I was an extra slash background actor. Right out of high school, I uh, signed up with a friend to be an extra for Central Casting in Los Angeles. So we did that for a couple of years and I had a lot of fun and it was honestly my open door into this industry and filmmaking. I got to work at the Paramount Studios for many different shoots. I worked on various TV shows and movies. I was on the show Felicity. That was with Scott Speedman, Scott Foley, and I got to meet them while they were there too. It was pretty cool. Um, I was also on a movie with Mark Wahlberg and Jennifer Aniston called Rockstar. I'll include a clip. Number eight, I love a musical. Mamma Mia 1 and 2, Grease, Rent, Bohemian Rhapsody, A Star is Born, I mean, you name it, I love a musical. Number nine, music is life. If I wake up to music, I go to sleep to music. All-time favorites, Alicia Keys, Coldplay, 
My recent obsession has been Billie Eilish. <laughs> Number 10, I walked on fire with Oprah. <laughs> this is not clickbait, this is legit. In November of 2011, I uh, participated in a Tony Robbins Unleash the Power Within seminar. And one of the things that they have you do is walk on fire. And just so happened that I was there the same night with some other celebrities, including Oprah. So I'm gonna insert Oprah walking on fire here. I unfortunately don't have a picture of myself walking on fire, but I do have the lanyard and a picture of myself there. So that was really an, an experience of a lifetime. It definitely solidified that I can do anything that I put my mind to. I mean, guys, I walked on fire barefoot, okay? <laughs> it was a good time and I did that with Christine and, and some other people that I was doing business with at the time. It definitely expanded my horizons. If I can do it, you can do it too. And not only that, but anything that you put your mind to. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you taking the time to continue to support my channel. Stay tuned for some bloopers. Bye. Hey girl, hey. Where are we doing this from today? Am to the T. Magnet. What? Huh? What? Who was she talking to me?